I hope you can't see past my curls. I hope you can't see past my crown because that's what the fuck it is. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of non-black people trying to look black. And I think I got mixed personalities. This bitch switched up my whole mentality. Okay, so hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel where you come to get more, more what? More what? I don't fucking know. Do you know Sammy? No, he doesn't. So, today, <clears throat> I've decided that, um, well not decided, like my hair is telling me that I need to wash my hair. Like, it's gone to the point where it's just... <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. And I, um, recently, like, probably... Well, no, not in all my videos. You see my natural hair. But I have cut it since then, so it's a little bit shorter just because, like, it was damaged. There were dead ends, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I've been wearing a lot of wigs recently. That's probably why my hair is screaming at me like, bitch, let me breathe. So I'm just like, I hear you. I hear you. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and get that taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair. And I have been in uh, English. <laughs> I've been on Instagram lately. And I've been seeing a lot of the Bantu Knot styles. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I've seen a lot of the Bantu Knot styles that I definitely want to try. I feel like it'd be a cute style to do. Now, um, I have always been a little bit hesitant because like I've seen the style before, like it's not brand new to me, like I know what it is, like I've seen people wear it. Um, but I've always been hesitant on actually doing that hairstyle on myself. Number one, because I've never done it before, so I don't know if if I do it, it will look... May I help you? Cute ass. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do it properly. And if it will look good on me. And also, I have a big head, so I feel like when... I do something that makes my hair like minimal it just makes my head stand out more and I just don't know if I'm ready for that kind of attention <laughs> to this globe that is sitting upon my neck but um we'll see and also I don't know if I have the courage to go out into the world with my Bantu knots on and before y'all start saying what do you mean like they're beautiful like it's more of like a personal thing just for me growing up um the area that I grew up there was a lot of I don't know that's not gonna be offensive there's a lot of white people like there's not a lot of people with you know, kinky, curly, a black people-esque type hair. Like, it's just, or at least the areas that I went to and um, the school that I went to and everything like that. May I help you? Hey. Hmm? So, yeah, that's something that... So I've always just been a little eh about doing that because I feel like I just won't be comfortable walking out. And there's also like other things that have happened like when I was younger just about my hair in general that makes me a little mm. It's just, well not recently, but you know ever since the whole like natural hair, like appreciating natural hair trend came into effect, that's when like I kind of started my natural hair journey in regards to that. So I've grown to accept my natural curly hair over the years um but there's also some hairstyles that i feel like are it might be crazy to me it might not be crazy to you guys maybe you guys are like, used to those type of stuff but for me it's different like i've never done a look like the um like bantu knots like ever so 
I'm gonna go ahead and step out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I'll see how my comfort is to see if I'm actually gonna go out and um, vlog it. And you know what? Let me just stop beating around the bush because like it's just it's just crazy to me that why this I have to like I feel like I'm talking and the more I talk about it, I feel like I sound like an idiot because like why would I feel insecure about that? Like it's my hair. It's like on top of my head, it's what's growing out of my hair. Like why would I feel a way about it? Like I can't help that this is the type of hair that I have. And when I think about it, I don't even really want to change it because I remember hating my hair when I was younger. Literally hating my hair. Um, but you know what, I feel like I'll get into that while I'm actually like styling my hair. I'll talk to you guys more about it. But I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go wash my hair right now. And I will see y'all. In a little bit. Bye. In order to make themselves stay relevant. And that is very, very important. <laughs> So I ended up, you know, as you could see, washing my hair from the last clip. And right now, I'm literally just watching YouTube videos and just showing you guys, like, what I'll be using, like, in my hair. So I'll speed it up so you don't have to, like, sit through all of this. But I did go ahead and kind of, like, section off, like, that front part of my head first. And I just started, like, putting in the products. And I kind of wanted to just get an idea on how, like, the front part would look. Because I feel like that's just... To me, that's always the most important part. Like, I could give a damn about how the back of my head looked. <laughs> I always just like to make sure that my front was nice. And I really liked the way that the parting came out with it. So I'm just going through applying those products, you know. And I really, really liked how it came. Like, for me doing it for the first time, i pretty shocked. I was feeling myself a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of fast forward through the rest and... You guys can kind of see like how I do it because I do come up closer to the camera and you can kind of see how I get the whole twisting effect of the hair properly so that you can see it. Yeah, I think that's a good way of explaining it. I don't know. I'm done. All right. Bye.
Okay, so my Bantu knots uh, were, uh, were, are <laughs> done. Um, it is nighttime. There was kind of a delay in me doing my hair. I had some stuff I had to take care of, but I'm actually going to go and go out with my hairstyle, which is something that I never thought I would be doing, going out in a hairstyle like this. It's very different, very out of my comfort zone to go out of, but... You know, I dressed it up, I have my jewelry in it, did my makeup, like I'm feeling good about myself, I really am. And I sent some pictures to my friends because it's the first time I've ever done a hairstyle like this. So I will put like at least like two of their responses up. But I really like it and sorry like I'm not professional so like my lighting is shit. I'm literally using a lamp. <laughs> That's just how it is, you know? But I really really like it. Like I think it came out so nice. And then how I did it too, because I like to like lean my head back. I didn't put like a like a bump like right at like the back back part of my head. So I don't know if you guys can see. But, I really like it. <laughs> I think it came out so cute. And you know, if anybody got an issue with it when I go out, then they can square the fuck up. Because I'm embracing my blackness. I'm embracing my hair texture, my hair, what I am as a black woman. And I'm going to rock with this. So, anybody that got a problem with it can square the fuck up. I'm gonna go eat. There is something that, that the reason why I have like this new change in attitude as well is that there is something that I do want to talk about that's really, really, <laughs> really upsetting me about what non black people are doing to black people, whether it's like directly or indirectly. But I don't want to ruin my night. I'm gonna go out. Um, when I get back, if I'm not tired, I'll talk about it. If not, then you guys will see me in another clip in the morning. When I'm more awake and I'm up and I'm, yeah, because I'm not going out to drink tonight. I'm literally just going to a dinner. I went out to go drink. <laughs> yeah. And, and what? What was I going to say? I don't even know what I was going to say a while ago. And, oh my God, this is like so annoying. Like you can't really see like my hair and it's just like, ugh. So annoying. Ooh, what the fuck? <laughs> um, yeah. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably record some Snapchat videos of me going out. <laughs> I'm really feeling myself right now. I don't know if y'all could tell. I, actually, I'm gonna do a whole little like thing where I'm. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do a whole little thing where. I'll slow down the thing, I'll put in some music, you're gonna see me modeling right now <laughs> as I'm modeling. <laughs> So I got fucking drunk. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna talk about this because and I'm sorry if I'm a little slow, like I said in the last clip. I got drunk, so my head kind of hurts. I'm a little hungover, but I took I drank a whole bunch of water and I took some stuff from my head, so. <sighs> Anyways, I did not want to not like get my point across and like finish what I wanted to kind of discuss from before. <laughs> And it's something that's just like really pisses me off. Like I don't really like try and concern myself too much with certain like dramas that they have going on on YouTube. Like I'll watch and I'll just keep my opinions to myself. But this is just something that's just like literally, literally, literally English, <laughs> literally pissing me off. Like I don't understand why non-black people feel the need, have the audacity to tell black people how to do things that black people created. It just, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. And it's just like, I feel like, I don't know, I've, there's just so much that <laughs> I just want to like get off my chest, like between like the black fishing and then I don't. I know this is gonna sound all over the place, but like even when I went out with my friend with my hair looking like this, it's like, and the area that I'm in, there's a lot of, there's not really a lot of black people like that. There are black people, but it's not primary. There's a lot of, and like literally, I'm not. A, I'm trying to find a way to make sure that I'm not gonna like offend or piss anybody off. But there's like more like Asian like white people where I am. And me walking out with my hair like this, it's not something I've ever done before. It was out of my comfort zone and it's something that I wanted to kind of test my limits for just to test my, push my limits. I don't know. Like kind of step out of my comfort zone. And honestly, like in the last clip, I felt like a bad bitch. Like I felt like I really looked good. Like I was that bitch. And people were uncomfortable. Like I was, I remember I, we went to a restaurant and I got up to go to the um, restroom inside that restaurant and it's like everybody was just like I walked in a little girl that was there with her mom like her mom like pulled her to the side when I walked in I'm just like bitch like what like it's a hairstyle this one's kind of whatever I was like it's a fucking hairstyle like why are people so uncomfortable with blackness and the thing is they're uncomfortable when black people do black people things or just do it just exist and be them but it's like they don't like when black people act the way that they are just be not even act like they don't like when black people are just who they are like be themselves but then non-black people want to basically do the same things that they get uncomfortable about when black people like it just it, it really I just I can't I can't make the connection I don't understand like they want to be black so bad but then they're uncomfortable with certain discussions and topics that you should be having if you appreciate the culture and you do this and this and that you don't appreciate it. it's like you want to be the things that we naturally are so bad like so bad like and I'm not trying to call any names like I'm really not like I don't want to because there's some youtubers on here and something that recently happened that's just like blowing my mind and I'm sorry if I'm like jumping all over the place like I just have like a lot that I want to get out <laughs> like the points that in my head that I want to kind of like get out before I forget them but it's just like why do non-black people want to be black so bad? Like, you're not black. Be yourself. If you're white, be white. If you're Asian, be Asian. Like, I don't understand why you have to be something that you're not. Like, you're not dark skin, so stop trying to be like that. Your hair doesn't need a... I can't. Oh, my God. I'm not going to say a name, but there was a YouTuber that literally 
literally was a whole different complexion. Her, her skin was a completely different complexion. Your skin does not look like that, sis. It does not look like that. And then she had the do-rag on top of it. And she's trying to say something about the filters making her look more orange. Sis, the filters not making you do that. You did that. You purposely did that to look like that. Why? Why? Tell me why. And I don't, oh my gosh. Listen, I'm not the type of person that gets, like, offended very easily when, like, white people or non-black people, like, wear freaking box braids or get stuff in their hair, like, I just mind my business, I was like, listen, if they want to fuck up their hair, if they want to do it, it's their hair, like, fuck it, like, whatever, like, I think it looks horrendous on them, but, my opinion, I think it looks horrendous, but if that's what they want to do, fine, but it's like, and why do people want to do this on Good Good Black History Month? Like, it just, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I feel like, like, it hit Black History Month and then people just wanted to try black people. Like, they, I just, it's like, they push us to the point, like, they push black people to the point where we become that stereotypical, just, like, angry black person. But you're the one that's making me an angry black person. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're doing shit that's pushing and pushing and pushing. And eventually, you're gonna knock the whole fucking door down, and then everything's gonna come flooding. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of non-black people trying to look black. You can't. It's, it's not okay. You can't. Like, if your skin is like this honey why are you buying foundation that's this color I, I don't get it I don't understand and then you don't want to take on black problems black issues but you want to be black you want the lips like I'm and the thing is I acknowledge my type of privilege as well because we're not even gonna get into the whole discussion about like light skin privileges and everything like that I acknowledge certain things and I feel like I could talk about that in a different video but this shit is pissing me off like why 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 just tell me just tell me why why do you want to be so black why Ugh, I'm drunk. Why do you want to be black so bad? Like, what is it? Like, if you want to be black, fine, go ahead. But I also want you to take on all the stereotypes, all the pain, all the problems that we go through each and every day as a black person. And I know with the hairstyle, I might be blowing it out of proportion, but that's the shit I'm talking about. It's like, I felt uncomfortable when I went out, not because I thought that I looked ugly, not because I felt that, you know, I looked bad or anything like that. Because other people made me feel uncomfortable about my hair, my hair. And the thing is, it's not even, I can't, I can only imagine for those girls that have like more coarse, like 4C type hair, I feel for them, I really do. Because my hair is not even that stereotypical, not like the, not the type that really, really gets, like triggers <laughs> non-black people. My hair is kind of in that mixture where it's like, oh my god, let me touch it, bitch, don't touch my hair, because that's another thing, don't touch my hair, don't be coming up and feeling on it, but it's just like, anyways, I'm, I'm going all over the place, I'm just upset because they're the ones that made me feel uncomfortable about how my hair is, how it naturally is, like, why, ah! and then what really pisses me off too, the picture that I saw it was also, they, sh they were also wearing something that you see like a lot of black men wear and uh, you know occasionally black women and they like, they, <laughs> this person tried to tell us black people what a durax purpose is for and she was severely incorrect. Like how are you gonna take something, how are you gonna take black culture, try and make it into something that it's not and then when black people come for you, or even not even come for you, sometimes we just want to correct you and let you know, like, sis, no, you want to come tell us that we're wrong when it's black. Co how, Sway? How? How? Tell me how. Tell me how. My camera's gonna die. I'm gonna record on my phone. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Like I was saying, this, this is really making me mad that it's so lopsided. Hold on. Let me fix this. It really, really irritates me because like there are certain experiences that I went through when I was younger 
and this is just me as a light-skinned black person like we're not even going to get into the topic about dark-skinned black people and the struggles that they have to go through on a daily basis and continuing even right now in this day and age and good good 2020 but it's just like it i remember like the teasing that i got about my hair when i was in middle school oh my gosh i had my natural hair i had to beg to beg my mother to relax my hair like that's how bad the teasing was i cried and begged and pleaded with my mother to relax my hair because i hated how my hair looked i hated it i wanted straight hair i wanted pin straight hair so that people would stop putting pencils and stuff in my hair putting papers and different types. like i literally would come home from school and if i was to shake my head people throughout the day because i used to wear my hair out or i had like a really big like frizzy like ponytail my hair was out it was out and people would just stick things and i would go home and shake and there's shit falling out of my hair like why did people feel the need to do that like it made me hate my hair so much the people that oh my gosh i'm getting so mad i'm getting so mad i'm getting so mad like i really really am because it just it doesn't make sense to me you want to be black but you cannot handle the <sighs> Like, I'm happy now that we've come to this point where it's like, I mean, it sucks that it's like a trend or it's trendy now, but I'm glad that there's been an appreciation for natural hair, for big lips, for all that. But it's just like, when black people were doing that shit before, it was fine. It's like, I'm glad that the acceptance is there, but the acceptance is there. It's because non-black people are the ones that are popularizing like they're the ones that made everyone else say oh this is something that we can do now like why why can't black people just exist why do we have to get into this trend with big lips and different like no structures and tan tan skin anyways <laughs> tan skin like why why now? Why not before? Why couldn't we love ourselves before? Why couldn't we be confident in ourselves before? Why do we have to wait for the white man to basically say, oh yeah, this is acceptable now. You can do this. Your lips are cute now because we want to have that. Your hairstyles are cute now because we want to have that. No. And then they can go and continue on with their lives, happy-go-lucky, taking black culture, wearing our hairstyles, and they don't get any repercussions or backlash for it at all i remember i did my friend's hair one time a black dark-skinned gorgeous woman blonde passion twist that i did for her beautiful and people were just looking at her like she's crazy and it's just like why why is it so strange for this dark-skinned beautiful woman to come in with blonde passion twists like what is the issue like what's the problem i don't get it and then i even remember there was a time at my job it's just like God, i'm so ignorant there are co-workers my friend has locks beautiful locks and my co-worker asked her how she washes her hair what the fuck do you mean susan how did with conditioner with shampoo the same way that you fucking wash your hair if you wash your hair like come on like <laughs> oh my gosh like i can't i really can't like i really can't and then there was also a time where like when i would do my makeup for work i purposely do my makeup to make like my nose look a little <sighs> anyways when i do makeup it's like i transform myself i'm trying to be like different or whatever feel different and my coworker literally told me and i also had like a straight wig that she preferred me rather than leaving my hair all curly and out she preferred me with my straight haired wig and when i tell you the next fucking day i came in curls on outrageous curls on curly curls on top of curls on top of curls i even used the afro pick and fluff that bitch out bitch you gonna learn to love these curls because it took me a long time for me to come to that acceptance you're not gonna take me down that path of me hating my hair and everything that i was when i was younger no you finna like these curls betty you finna like them and i sat next to her and i was like i hope you can't see past my curls i hope you can't see past my crown because that's what the fuck it is i don't care about how you feel i don't care that you feel uncomfortable or you don't i don't care i really don't care there was a time that i went into the grocery store to the grocery store my hair was out it was curly and i recently cut it and it's like i don't even have like those like big beautiful like 
like super froze like, like i would love that I, oh my god i would love that but my hair is not like that my hair is more it goes out a little bit and then it kind of drops just how my hair is in my gene pool my family right this lady was making up her face because mind you she was the one that was too close to me in my personal space like you have to be really close to me for my hair to touch you in any type of way and this old white lady is going like behind me and i saw like the other like the lady that was checking me not behind me the lady that was checking me out at the cashier the the, the lady that was checking me out at the register she was a black girl and she was kind of like like and i was looking at her i was like what like why is she making that face and i turned my head to look behind me and the lady like backs up like bitch my hair didn't even touch you and she goes she's like oh your hair is just kind of getting in my face then back the fuck up bitch why are you so close why are you so close to me if you wasn't so close to me my hair wouldn't touch you and i know for a fact my hair didn't touch you dumb bitch like <laughs> i'm sorry i'm getting so it's making me so mad like i don't get it i don't get it like, like and i see videos and i see like <laughs> these things were like non-black people are just try to do things to their hair that they just can't do and they come out looking stupid you look stupid it doesn't look good just wear hairstyles that your hair is meant for that it was made for like just why why have you seen a non-black person do bantu knots and it look good and it's just like you have the audacity and it's like that other video with onisan telling black girls how to do their hair how to take care of their hair you're not black how can you tell me how i'm supposed to take care of my hair i will crawl over and die before i listen to a video of onision telling me how to take care of my hair i do <laughs> oh my God. like this shit doesn't make any sense it doesn't make sense to me why 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 i have so many stories and my brothers are darker than me so there's an experience that i even had when my brother was younger and i just oh my god it's just uh, uh. like you know i'm actually gonna tell the story there was a time my little brother and i and my mom we went to i think it was like like a dollar store or something like just getting random shit and he was over here like just looking at some of the toys and everything and walking around and when i tell you and this is just to show you like anyways there was another family that was in there and this little white boy was fucking shit up and the store manager or whoever was not saying shit the kid was throwing shit picking it up flinging it all over the place a hot mess my brother just looking at things he walk away my mom you know how black parents are like don't touch nothing you know if you break it i gotta buy it so don't touch fucking nothing so occasionally he's like you know we're kids you want to pick up the toy and look at it now all of this is happening happening my mother purchases a toy for my brother purchase it for him and she wanted to go back and get something. So I'm standing at the front with my brother with the toy. And then she's like, you know what? Just go wait in the car. I'll be right there. I'm just going to go grab something and meet you guys out there. As we're walking out, the owner has the nerve, the nerve, the nerve to come up and grab my brother talking about some, you're stealing. What? Bitch, we just... I'm... <laughs> I'm fucking done. He accused my little brother of stealing the toy from the store. When you have little white boy over there in the back that's fucking shit up in the store and you're not saying shit. Like, we literally just... Why? Why? Because we're black. Because they just love to assume. They love to assume that the black person's gonna steal. They love to assume that we're gonna get loud and angry. He wanted to cause a scene. He wanted to start something. Why? Because we're black. I mean, I feel like I'm broken record. I, I'm just really upset. If you're not black, don't tell black people how to do things. If you're not black, don't tell us how to take care of our hair. If you're not black, don't tell us, don't take black culture and then try and rewrite it into some, like, no, like, I hate it. Like, people are stealing black culture and they call it, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, if you're going to wear box braids, 
I don't think you should, but if you're gonna wear them, then give credit where credit is due. Call them box braids. Don't call them fucking triangle twists or whatever. I don't know. Like, they come up with, like, the weirdest... I, I, oh, my God. Ah! Ah! I got a fucking headache. I'm just... I'm done. It's just stupid. Like, they're just being really fucking stupid at the end of the day so i hope i didn't offend any of you and if i did then that's your problem because you probably oh excuse me <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and if it did offend you then that means the shoe fits honey fix it big lips are a trend fat ass is a trend dark tan skin they don't want to say dark tanned skin is a like get girl bye you want to be black so bad, but you can't handle black problems. You don't want to discuss issues. You don't want to help people that are being kicked out of schools and graduations because of their hair. You don't want to help people that don't get jobs because they don't fit the stereotypical white man look that everybody's going for. Like, I, when I think about it, like, every time I go for job interviews, I don't wear my hair curly. And if I do wear it curly, it's always something where I try and tame it and slick it back just so that it gives me the better chance of getting a job or I wear a wig with my straight hair. Like, <laughs> whatever, whatever. I'm gonna go.